Notes don't just sound beautiful, but they're also wonderful for our brains. Coming up, we speak with Philadelphia's oldest piano company, and they tell us why now is the most opportune time to start playing. Piano sales are brisk as tickling the ivories has become a popular pandemic pastime. Victoria Woodall gives you a little insight as to why and how the trend has been a boon for one local business. When anyone hits that beautiful note of a piano, whether it's one or many keys, it's almost like a bag of chips. You can never just have one, which when you put your hands on a keyboard, you can never just do it once. you got to keep working at it because it sounds so satisfying. And because it changes the way you feel, you love that feeling. Richard Galassini knows those feelings all too well, for he is co-owner of the Cunningham Piano Company, Philadelphia's oldest piano company. Cunningham Piano Company has been around since 1891. For the first 50 years that we existed, we made pianos by hand right here in Philadelphia. And today we are experts on some of the finest pianos that, that might be 100 years old, even the new products that are around today, but also the technology and the technology-based instruments are where a lot of children are going to start today. While the pandemic stopped in-store sales for a bit, their online store, which they opened just over two months ago, showed incredible promise that people still wanted to play. We deliver pianos to Hawaii. We deliver wow. pianos to Texas, to Maryland. So, yes, there is demand. Sure, people have more time on their hands, but Rich says there's also a demand because of what the piano does for our brains. He says that's the key. Sing us a song. The piano man, us a song tonight. Active music making, you know, it changes us physiologically. Our blood pressure goes down, our heart rate goes down. The hormone cortisol, the one that makes us feel like, oh my gosh, uh, I'm, I'm stressed, I'm anxious, which who's not anxious today? It lowers the level of cortisol. At the same time, it raises the level of serotonin and dopamine. And those are the hormones that make us feel comfortable and safe. But a lot of musicians feel that way. It's a healing art. Would you say it's never too late to learn the no, piano? Absolutely not. So um, the oldest student at the Cunningham Music School, she's way past retirement age, okay? And the youngest students are five years old. For all in the mood for a melody. And you've got us feeling all right. <laughs> Rich also mentions that pianos, in particular digital pianos, sound wonderful and are more affordable than ever. So now may just be the most opportune time to start playing. I'm Victoria Woodall for CBS3 Eyewitness News. John at the bar is a friend of mine. He gets her her drinks for free. Go ahead, Tori, telling her Billy Joel. All right.